Hey everybody, this is Steve, and today we are going to be talking about backing up your transmitter. Um, typically, this is the tool we're going to use. When you start off, you'll see right below where you would find Ethos and your update for everything, um, you would find the Model Manager. And the Model Manager is your backup tool. It really should be called Backup Manager or something like that, but we call it Model Manager. And you can see that I've already gone through and I set up a download location. That's what you're going to have to do first is hit this and then find a spot where you'd like to permanently store all your backup files. Your backup files will be done uh, using a zip file, a .zip, and uh, you can also restore from the same tool. I'm going to go through all of that. But you can see I've already gone through and I backed up the transmitter previously. And in that one, I knew I did the full backup. So I backed up everything that was on the radio. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this was what I did. I had all this selected and I typed the word first backup. So this time I'm going to type the word pre-ethos 1.5. So the idea is that we're trying to back up everything before um, we install ethos 1.5 and what i'm going to do this time is since i've already gotten all these things and since the audio files have not changed or the system bitmaps and the user bitmaps so these user bitmaps are the images of your um, planes for example all your, or all your different models or all the ones you have loaded on your radio um, if you've already backed these up the first time and you really haven't added to it, you can unselect it. Same goes with the audio. System bitmaps, you kind of have to watch out for because um, you don't know what's been updated and what hasn't. So maybe it's wise to take a little more time and just make sure you always back that up. Um, we'll back up the scripts and we'll back up the models and the log files and the screenshots. Um, I don't really have any screenshots. I don't really use this, so I can select this. The system settings is something that's really important uh, because this is everything about how you set up your radio. So you definitely want to make sure that's always selected. So all I'm going to do now is just hit backup, and it's going to fly through this. You can see that it's taken no time whatsoever to go through it, and all those PNG files, these are all your system files. Now the CSV, um, these are all the model files you have, or I've set up. And it, I already said that it's backed up. Now, if I wanted to go through and restore it, as I've just shown you, I did not back up everything this time. So if I go to restore, you can see that some of these things were missing. So if I wanted to get everything and make sure that everything's on the radio, I first have to go to the oldest one. And you can see that we have quite a bit more on here as far as, you know, audio system, bitmaps, user bitmap scripts. Let me just show you the difference. This is the second backup. This is the first backup. So I would hit restore from there and this would restore to the radio. And then I would go back again and select this one and hit restore one more time and it will update the transmitter with the latest versions of the system bitmap logs models system settings and scripts if you have any further questions please leave them in the comments and i do thank you for watching